In Kiev, people flocked to Independence Square to celebrate the Easter holiday. Music plays and all the trappings of Easter are at hand. For Christians, Easter marks the resurrection of Jesus Christ and a time of renewal. Photos of the dozens who died in the capital in the fight for the country's future still line the square. But Easter is a time of hope. It is a special feeling because of the events that took place this year. I would like to believe that along with the holiday of resurrection of Christ, some bright changes will take place in Ukraine. In the east of the country, as gunmen still occupy some government buildings, church becomes a place for reflection. At least three people were killed in a gunfight in the early hours of the morning, shaking an already fragile international accord that was designed to avert a wider conflict. Citizens, as well as separatists, line up for blessings, offering the prospect of a better future amid the turmoil. The rivals, let's say in the political sense, they're standing there together and are celebrating Easter. I think that's a good sign, and I think everything will be okay. The coming days may determine whether the unrest following the overthrow of Ukraine's pro-Moscow president can be contained.